Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video I'm really excited because I've really wanted to get my hands on this Raspberry Pi 400. Obviously it has a nice base clock of 1.8 instead of the usual Pi 4 which is clocked at 1.5. That's largely because of a massive heat shield uh, that goes right the way through the keyboard which is able to set that base clock at a 1.8. So this is just an unboxing, just to show you what you're going to get with the personal computer kit of the Raspberry Pi 400. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so as you can see, it is a pretty substantially huge box, which would be uh, normal with having a huge keyboard inside. So the box itself is really nice. I like the red and white theme. I also like the red and white theme with the keyboard itself and also the mouse. So let's get it open. So we slide the box out. So just read off some basic specs. So the processor is a Broadcom BCM2711, which is a quad core 64-bit SOC, ARM Cortex A72 at 1.8 gigahertz. It has a four gigabyte LPDDR4 dual band 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. It has two times USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0 ports. So it really is absolutely a fantastic little single board computer to use as maybe a emulation station. Or in fact, if you just wanna do some light video editing and so forth with Ubuntu, I think it actually comes with Ubuntu itself, but we'll have a little look and see what we get in the box. So on opening it up, we are greeted with a nice keyboard. So let's lift the keyboard out. Okay, so it's really, really nice. It's incredibly thin. I don't know if it's coming across just how thin this is, but it's really, really nice. It is a little bit thicker on the edge. Let's have a little look at the bottom to see if there's any feet. There doesn't seem to be any feet, but we have some nice air vents to keep the airflow and keep the Pi board nice and cool, especially with that heatsink as well. If you want me to do a teardown, I will do a video on that. So we have a Giganet Ethernet cable uh, adapter here. We also have our three USB type ports, two 3.0 and also a 2.0. We have our power supply, we have two mini HDMI and also we have a TF card slot. So yeah, really, really impressed. Okay, let's give the little keyboard a little tap just to see how well it feels. Okay, so it's not, it's not super tactile. I would say that there is very minimum travel in the keys itself, but it does feel nice. It's very reminiscent of a laptop keyboard more than an actual standalone keyboard itself but i'm sure that it is fine let's just put that aside let's open the tray up a little bit more okay so also in the starter kit itself we have the official raspberry pi mouse which is the white and red version so let me break the seal here Okay, so I do like the fact that everything is nicely color coordinated. Here we have the mouse, which seems very, very nice. It's standard. There is a wheel and also left and right buttons, but it feels very nice. Buttons feel nice and clicky. So that is pretty cool. Also in the box, we also have 
of official Raspberry Pi power supply. And this is a five, DC 5.1 with three amp output. Okay, so the cable does seem to have quite a lot of length, which is pretty cool. And also we have a standard UK plug, but I'm sure you can get different variants of this, whether you live in the US or EU. Okay, so that's pretty cool. What else do we get in the box? We have a micro card adapter, but I did notice that the SD card was actually in the top, so let's just eject it and see what we get. They're normally 16 gig. Yeah, 16 gig, and it will probably end up having Ubuntu on it. Yeah, so love to know, guys, if you have the Pi 400 already, and what do you think? I will be doing another video, which will then showcase some emulation performance on there, and I will be using Batasera 3.1, or should I say Batasera 31, which is the most recent up-to-date version of Batasera. I'll be testing out some high-end games, which is pretty cool. So it also comes with a mini HDMI to HDMI, so that's cool. So we actually get the cable with that as well, which is always nice, keeping with the color theme. And we also have, which I was quite excited about, it's always nice to learn about the official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide, how to use your computer. So it's a really, really thick book. So hopefully it will have some really interesting stuff and even more um, ways to utilize the Raspberry Pi also, which is pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to digging into this book. So there we have it with the unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 400 starter kit, personal starter kit. I think that's a great deal. It comes in at 107 UK pounds. So I don't think it's that expensive really. And I think for what you get and with that overclock as well, I think that it's a really, really, really good deal. So if you'd like to see more on the Raspberry Pi 400, please consider subscribing. Please like and share the video, help the channel grow. It really does help out massively. And I thank you all in advance. So as I say, the next video I will showcase Botticera, I'll do an installation guide on how to set it up on the Raspberry Pi 400. And as always, guys, take care.